Hey everybody, Psychotic Karen here. Today I'm bringing you the Stanley Parable. Why? Because it seems very intriguing and I think I'm actually going to like it. From what I understand, it's a, a game about choice, but not having choice, if you understand what I mean. Uh, <clears throat> I don't really know much about it. Uh, I do understand that it's actually a very good story. So I'm just going to go ahead and just, you know, I'm just going to get right into it while we can. And also while my pants dry in the dryer. It is 1.30. Awesome. This is the story of a man named Stanley. And now Stanley. I shall quiet. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. What a boring and job. One day, something very peculiar happened. Sorry. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. How about now? How about I do this first? Video. Come on. Now. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Yes! Let me sit here and wait. Click, 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 click on everything. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. Yeah, one moment. What I just, what I did. It, yes. Yeah, terribly sorry about that now. Back to the story. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh wow. Oh! Oh I see. <laughs> Open that one. Open that one. All of his co-workers were gone. No. What could it mean? No. No. Stanley decided no. to go to the meeting no. room. Perhaps no. he had simply missed a memo. No. 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 Stanley no. went around touching every little thing in the office, yes. but it didn't make a single difference. <laughs> nor did it look no matter how hard Stanley looked. He couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. All right. Wait. Wait. Click, click. Click on everything. Ah! Don't close on me. Now. Click. 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 Click, 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 click. Stanley clicked on literally every single door in the office. Yeah, <laughs> well on cues from his environment. <laughs> I'm liking it so far. Click on that door. 
Click on that door, and 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 that door. That was a window back there. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Did he? You know, I was denying him in the first place. Let's deny him again. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted Maybe. to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Sure. Sure I did. To the opposite of everything he says. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautiful <laughs> room. Ignore. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Drink. 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 I'm sorry, I'm getting annoying now. Huh. It's a nice environment. Looks very good. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating oh, yes. that even though Very. all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, yep. here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Yep. Really worth it. Yes, very. He, he's, he's got it. He's understanding it. I want some coffee. Okay, no coffee. Fine. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. They didn't. Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> He's so bad at following directions. It's a wonder he wasn't fired. fired oh. oh, goodness. Do not jump from the cargo left while it is in motion. Will cause death. Penalty from jumping. Wait. Wait. Misuse. Okay. Jumping is already a misuse. And penalty for jumping off the cargo lift is five thousand dollars. But you're probably dead. But what is taken from your pension? It's not like you need it. Look, Stanley. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stan. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Who's her? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. What if I go this way? What if I go this way? And what if I just fall off? Kill myself! But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Oh, that's great! <laughs> and here's where we're gonna start part two. I'll see you guys in the next one. That was one ending. Let's hope that we see another.